Mark Lawrenson returns because of injury to Barry Venison. But it's the first time for six and a half years that Liverpool have gone into a Merseyside derby without Ian Rush. A span of 20 matches against Everton in which Rush contributed 19 goals. But the number nine shirt he's vacated is still the object of interest tonight because it passes from Ray Houghton, who's cup tied, to Craig Johnston, who was dropped at Luton on Saturday, but now has the chance to stake his claim for the next Merseyside derby, which is here on Sunday in the first division. Everton's Adrian Heath will be suspended then, but tonight he partners a very informed Graham Sharp. The return of Pat Vanden Howe to left back is the one change. On the left of midfield, the one Everton newcomer to the unique derby atmosphere, Ian Wilson, who was signed last month from Leicester City. Well, this freak of the Littlewoods Cup draw has produced a match that everybody wants to see, including the England manager, Bobby Robson. Referee Vic Callow from Sully Hull, remembered by Everton fans because a couple of years ago he sent off Neville Southall at Chelsea. Everton may be the league champions, but here in the cup they're cast as the underdogs. Colin Harvey quite happy about that, but as he said to me this morning, we don't think we're the underdogs, that's what matters. one of two Liverpool-born players in red shirts tonight, Steve McMahon the other. And it's a little bit ironic, I suppose, that they come to play here at Anfield in a rather roundabout route. The two great rivals played each other six times last season. Sharp is in. I was going to say that Everton didn't win any of them. But there was a moment of encouragement for their supporters then as Sharp stretched and Grobola just got there in time. Sharp has got seven goals in his last four league games. Watson, here's Whelan. It's one for Bisley to set off after. Arrival meant that Watson could take no extra chance. Barnes. That's Whelan. Ronnie Whelan has reserved some of his very best moments for this competition. Spectacular goals in a couple of Wembley finals. And not too far away in the Little Woods Cup here tonight. intensity of the occasion has rather restricted the flow to the football there's no real surprise in that oh, wait, that was a bad tackle by Ratcliffe the ball had gone a long long time if that type of tackle goes unchecked then the temperature of the game might get so high that it would get out of hand there goes the ball and there went Ratcliffe the yellow card has been shown to the Everton captain. Liverpool averaging virtually three goals a game in the first division this season. Lawrence. Vanden Howe has caught off the ball. Actually was responsible for a blow off the ball rather on Johnston. Liverpool retained possession, Beardsley got it in, and uh, Whelan is there, Aldridge is there, and I think we have to say all credit to the referee for allowing that to go on, maybe he didn't see the off the ball episode involving Van den Howe and Johnston, but then when the cross finally came in, Whelan got his head to it, and had Aldridge got any sort of touch, he would have scored.
continuing to cope with the undoubted individual flair in the Liverpool ranks. Craig Johnston down the right, John Barnes down the left. At the moment, in the grips of their respective markers. Well, now the linesman is flagging. Now it's an indirect free kick inside the penalty area. Now Everton are wondering why they haven't got a penalty if there was an infringement. But the flag went up straight away. Went up, I thought for sure it would be a free kick to Liverpool. But here we are with a chance for Everton to break through. Gary Stevens, and the player who blocked the shot was Ronnie Whelan. Well, it is a talking point, but not a turning point. yet because Everton still have the corner of course and there's Barnes dealing with it Stephen that's another Everton free kick Beardsley was the culprit Everton started the match strongly in terms of setting out their stall and they're finishing the first half strongly as well. Snowden. It was Hansen who beat Watson to it. Barnes wanted that extra touch. And he now has a free kick. Other players with less belief in their own ability would have simply whacked it into the crowd. lines on the brow of the Liverpool manager by surprise but really it's in keeping with the way Everton have built and built in the first 45 minutes it was a most unlikely opportunity in a half which has had its moments of tension rather than too many thrills and spills have undoubtedly had a let off Snowden that was a strange one Southall Aldridge was in his way and Southall regains the ball but players who behave impeccably in most games get riddled with nerves in a match like this as Snowden did then it was inexplicable really managed to pull the ball in Graham Sharp walks to the dressing room for half time I'm sure still wondering how he didn't capitalise on the one real chance of the first half presented to him by Liverpool 
But Everton have plenty to be pleased about. You could call them the press gang, really, the way they pressed into Liverpool, not giving them any room in which to show the skills that have adorned the first division so far this season. At half-time here at Anfield, it's Liverpool nil, Everton nil. Welcome back. Some 45,000 crammed into Anfield for this Merseyside derby. Another 12,000, we understand, at Goodison Park watching our pictures on the big screens there. Everton trying to break down an amazing statistic here at Anfield where Liverpool have lost only one of their last 101 cup ties. And that was to Brighton in the fifth round of the FA Cup four years ago. Aldridge. Stevens there before Barnes. He, it was the right idea, the wrong execution. Peter Reid was chugging forward. It would have been clear whether he had the speed to have gone all the way. We'll never know. McMahon. Nickel. Liverpool players involved in this attack as well, one of whom is Whelan. Plenty of yells from those wearing red and white on the terraces, hoping for a penalty. No movement from Vic Callow, the referee, except a point for a goal kick, and he looked absolutely right. Gillespie. Obviously there before Watson. Nicola continued his run, but he played it against Dave Watson. According to Colin Harvey, Watson was playing some of the best football of his career. Barnes. And Van and Howe had to backhead it behind for the corner. Gillespie is there as well, and uh, another corner. Gary Gillespie, the scorer of Liverpool's winner of Luke last Saturday. They spread the goals around the team so well. Aldridge! And Gillespie was homing in for the kill again, and... He firmly believes he didn't get the last touch. And we shall see, I think, for sure from this angle. But Southall left it, but left it to Aldridge. And that should have been a corner. McMahon. tuned really that understanding between Johnston and Lawrenson but here is Craig Johnston Whelan fiercely going in it's not really his forte a far post header he's peeling off to try and make the pass possible for Sharp that's been one of the hardest techniques to display Pulls of really of Anfield. Heath. Sharp's gone to the near post. On the edge of the area is Ian Wilson. Oh, and Barnes as he under hit it. He has it sharp this time. No! That's even worse. John Barnes, just as Mark Lawrenson had done in the first half, played it without looking. 
Sharp read it very well. Then was lucky to get the run of the ball against Grobla. And what should have been a simple side foot was a catastrophe for him and for Everton. And it's lucky Liverpool, that's for sure. Sharp, Stephen, Heath, Trevor Stephen, and Grobola was almost up too soon. In cricketing terms, it was Trevor Stephen's slower ball. Grobola anticipating a harder struck shot. Beardsley. careful Whelan did brilliantly to retrieve it Aldridge corner courtesy of Ronnie Whelan there's still life in the game so there's still hope for Liverpool two minutes of injury time play Southall only partially got there here's Hansen all hands to the pump for Liverpool Beardsley, McMahon, Everton have two players still on the line. And now rush out, Snowden and Stephen. Aldridge, Stevie Nicholl. That could be Liverpool's last throw. Indeed, Liverpool are beaten for the first time this season. Gary Stevens, six minutes from time. Everton let others paint them as underdogs. They never believed it. And this shot from Stevens off Gillespie has sent Everton through and put Liverpool out. The one consolation for Liverpool is that there is an immediate chance to rid themselves of the bitter taste of defeat when Everton return here in the first division on Sunday. Tonight, though, belongs to Colin Harvey and Everton. Well, Gary Stevens, for you, I think that represents a, a change of fortune in derby matches. Uh, it certainly does, yes. Uh, 
You know, over the last two or three seasons, um, derbies haven't been too kind to me personally, but um, to score a goal at Anfield, you know, uh, Kevin Ratcliffe said to me after the game, not many of us can do it here, but uh, to score a goal from the left foot especially was pleasing. Here it is. Yeah, great ball from Peter Reid, and uh, as, as you see, it's one of the only times I managed to come forward, really, uh, during the game. Um, I just thought I'd take a pot, and it took a deflection there, and, you know, I was celebrating there, I could see it sneaking in. You know, a tremendous score, yeah. And Graham Sharp. Now, how did you feel when that went in? Oh, man, I think I must have been most relieved man in Anfield. Uh, missed two very easy chances. Uh, I thought I'd blown it for the lads. Disappointed in that respect. But uh, I knew Gary would come good and uh, relieved at the end, as I said. But I think we deserved it in the mean. The worst miss, if I dare remind you, was the second one. We're going to show it to you. Yeah, I thought you might do. <laughs> I just realised John Barnes was passing the ball back. Uh, my second in front of a Bruce. I should have taken it on there, really. I've hit it first time. It's, it's a bad miss. Uh, hold my hands up there. I should have scored and I should have done better. But at the end of the day, everything went right for us, thanks to Gary. And we're in the next round, which is the most important thing. And you're back here on Sunday. Dare you think about that, or are you just going to enjoy the moment? No, I think, obviously, we've got to look to that now, but let us enjoy tonight first. Uh, we'll have a quiet one. Uh, and then we, we'll get, get ourselves geared up towards Sunday. We know it's going to be another difficult game. But I think the way we played today, we proved a few people wrong. We've been writing us off. So we're looking forward to Sunday again. And Gary, another winning goal here. Can you imagine that? Well, I mean, once in a lifetime, really, job for a fullback <laughs> here. Um, as long as we put in a good performance and get a result on, on Sunday, you know, that'll do us.